what is up guys so this video is on content that i've been promising to make for quite some time now uh the website to which i'm referring to so the website upon which this content is based on is alignable.com now the reason as to why alignable.com caught my interest is because it's a pretty cool b2b directory so if you check the previous content that i've made as well you'll see that i'm all about B2B directories other than LinkedIn. So identifying them, being able to scrape them, manipulate them, etc. Because I feel that generally put, it's super important to be able to work with and automate and manipulate platforms other than LinkedIn. So that when LinkedIn becomes a lot more harder to automate, you still have a couple of other blue oceans in which you can essentially do business in. Otherwise, from a B2B standpoint, it's going to be super difficult. So in an effort to basically get this done, I've been placing extreme focus on identifying these other platforms and finding ways to work around with them. So alignable.com is essentially a business directory with a lot of different categories ranging from, I mean, you can see them all here. I think I've scraped this list and I have the category list in another file on my other laptop, but it's, it's pretty diverse. You have everything from real estate agents to barber shops, bars and clubs, etc. And it's all, as you can see here, this selection is on New York and why you it's, I think it's all the regions of the US, like all major ones. You can essentially see them I'm trying to find the section where they showcase all their regions. They showcase all their geolocations here. So a couple of major states, I'm not too versed with US states, so I don't know if that's all of them, but, um, it's it's pretty diverse essentially so in this example if you were scraping real estate agents from alignable and i'll just showcase exactly how that's done you would need two tools you would need parse hub which is number one and a lot of my videos revolve around parse hub especially with these infinite scroll websites where you scroll and it loads as far as it goes as you can see here you keep scrolling and the results keep loading so these type of websites, to scrape them, you do require a tool called Parse Hub, which we have right here. And I've already scraped the website, but I'm gonna show you the setup that I've used to basically scrape 200 listings directly from the site itself. So Parse Hub is pretty simple. Everybody thinks that it's super complex, but they've already got enough of their own guides that are just basically cross applicable to any website that you decide to scrape. And slowly but surely, other growth hackers like myself are creating applied parse hub videos, which are showing you exactly what you need to do and what setup you need to have in order to scrape several websites, essentially ranging from LinkedIn to clutch.co. It works like a gem with clutch.co as well, because clutch gives you domain names, and then you can basically enrich those domain names with tools like hunter.io. Now to set up parse hub directly on this, the most important thing that you need to do is you need to basically run two templates one is the results template and the other one is the main page template and you need to select this container which essentially scrolls down and every time it scrolls down it gives you the results i'll link a video where parsev actually explains how to do this because i don't want to damage the setup right now and then once that's set right you then set up another template which is directly on this when you specify that you want to scrape the name so that's the name of the uh, the, the name of the listing the phone as well which is right there the website as well and the reason as to why we're scraping the website is so that then we can enrich it with hunter.io for example and the team as well and the reason as to why we're scraping the team is primarily because we then plug it into a LinkedIn enrichment tool like Phantom Buster for instance which if we just toggle the console here you'll see that it's actively from the results that Parse Hub gave us previously this is the results file by pairing the first name with the company name right and creating a new sheet and pasting this into Google Sheets into the template of uh, Phantom Buster what it does essentially is it searches on LinkedIn for the first name, last name, and the company name. So it tries to find the most relevant listing. Now, of course, you know, the accuracy isn't 
but if you if it's a good demographic and a good industry you can hit and you, you can actually hit an accuracy of like 60 to 70 and in some cases 80 as well so a good linkedin template to basically roll out to these people would be along the lines of first name are you still with company name essentially and then you can see based on the responses who you want to target or not just to basically sort them out and weave them uh, to have a more accurate outreach but the setup on parse hub is super simple so oops Again, uh, you just create the uh, finite listing, uh, infinite scroll setup. The video is linked in the description from Price Hub. They explain exactly how to do it. You select the container, select the scroll. Uh, then on template two, you select exactly what you want to basically scrape. In this case, it's team, website, phone number, etc. And then as you see within the initial tab, it does this for all the listings that come up and at the same time, you mention, you, you state to Parse Hub that you want it to continue scrolling until it runs out. Now, the cool thing with the free version of Parse Hub is that it, it will do this up to 200 listings. But if you want to scrape the whole website and put it on a USB, as I like to say, you do require the premium version of Parse Hub, which I just haven't gotten yet, to be entirely honest, because I haven't like had a use for like so much data. But uh, I'm just getting by with a free version right now. But the paid one, I think it's like 150 bucks per month, but it's definitely worth it. But essentially for that type of scrape, you run it, you click on get data, and then it takes you to the previous runs, which I did previously, you click on run, and then it starts scraping it. Now the application of this is the following. So if you add it into the profile finder, you can then outreach to them directly via LinkedIn upload the CSV into a tool like Expandy, upload the CSV into a tool like uh, WeConnect. I, I don't know if people still use WeConnect, but I just still mention it just in case. And then outreach to them directly with, uh, with, a, with, a certain, uh, with a certain template. And then on the flip side as well, because you do get website URLs in this case, all these website URLs can essentially be plugged into hunter.io and then you can get the personal and the corporate emails of all the individuals working within the company and do an outreach. So all you do in this case is copy this and then do a bulk upload on tools like Snov or Hunter.io in order to get the personal and corporate emails. Again, it's a super, super easy scrape. The good thing about um, Parse Hub, no, the good thing about Alignable essentially is that you have a bunch of different categories that you can scrape and with a tool like Parse Hub, you can essentially do it for free. So play around with it. Uh, essentially, that's what I'm. The, the, that's what this video is about. It's just a, an introduction to the the potential and the possibility of scraping it, regardless of whether you know you're outreaching to sports clubs, or to uh, social service, or to social media agencies, etc. Pretty cool directory. Definitely scrapable, and definitely has a lot of potential. Thank you very much, guys. I'll catch you on the next one.